So welcome back to everybody to get some more reviewing tracks from the Acorn Cup this time. And the first one is going to be Mark Hartor's Rome Apathy. Um, this is, I believe, from the Acorn Cup. It's a new cup. The last two cups is the second last cup. We're almost done with this. So whatever to do, let's get into this. Rome Apathy. It's a race course marker too. It is based on the city of Rome, Italy. And such takes racers around many landmarks as aside from the city, such as the Colosseum. The course made its debut in the night tour, and it is the second court city course for to not debut in tour name after the city. The first being Athens Dash. It is also the first city course to debut alongside a classic course since Paris Promi. Over three years earlier, the course is the sixth European city course and is the first of them to be set at night. Avati in the course's name is an Italian word that roughly translates to onwards, making this the first marker course to feature a non-English word in its English name. The starting line of this course originally the front side of the, of the Pantheon. So yeah, this takes its place around the sides of the city, such as the Colosseum. So now I'm going to go over Mario Kart, what's changed in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So, in this one, really quick, a return to Mario Kart as, as part of the sixth and final wave of the Booster Course Pass DLC it is the first course of the Acorn Cup. The course has vast visual improvements and upgrades compared to its Mario Kart Tour appearance. Like other Mario Kart Tour City courses, its entire nation of track combines the course three routes together in a continuous route that occupies three laps. The fallen columns in the Rome Firm, as well as the stairs under the arch of the Stimson surface, has been removed. Pisa del Campello has been fully reopened up on both laps in its tra traverse. The Trevi Fountain is now probably flowing, rather than being static as in Mario Kart Tour, and its water can now be driven through as an underwater section. The glide ramp in Pizza Napoleona has been made smaller. The rocky wrenches have been redesigned, re now supporting the original designs from Super Mario Bros. 3. The swoops in the Colossum has been removed. The mini map has also been rotated 180 degrees. So yeah, as you can see, it is based off an actual city once again in Rome, Italy, which is probably the most pop. You can also correct me if I'm wrong, but probably one of the most popular cities in Italy. But I think it's time we go over the next course in the Acorn Cup. Let's get into it. Sorry, DK Mountain from the GameCube, aka Mario Kart Double Dash. Now, I actually never played this course before, but I have seen a lot. Maybe I'll play it. Eventually, DK Mountain is the fourth and final course race course of the Star Cup in Mario Kart Double Dash. The course takes place alongside. Sorry. Two volcanoes in the middle of the jungle. The, the center of the track is a giant barrel canyon that shoots racers to the upper part of the of an active volcano. The course itself is complex, containing several curly paths, dangerous tight turns, and uneven ground where drifting is difficult to control. It shares music with special cup track Dino Dino Jungle, part of which is a range of the Donkey Kong Jr. stage music. Now I guess it's time to go over to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. A return to Mario Kart Deluxe as part of the sixth and final wave of the Booster Course Pass DLC. It appears as the second course of the Acorn Cup. The course is based on the appearance of Mario Kart Tour with graphical and achievements most notably the land surrounding the track has quite a bit more detail the distant jungle kind of pie is added dk barrels have been added throughout the course the canary gains dk letters on its side as well as the wooden support beams holding up a condor nest has been has added on a small cliff to the right of the head of the volcano the wooden ramps were replaced by stone ramps including directly in the road the third now has some dk barrels scattered along it and if it's tricked off properly, the, the lead re racers can lead us to driving on the elevated mountain rock briefly, which in turn can also lead to a small shortcut. The volcano can now has flame, now has flame-like appearance on its face. A wall has extended small, a small part of the final shams, weakening the shortcut possible there in Double Dash and we. However, the gap can still be jumped further down. The rope all along the sides of the bridge added in marker tour has been removed though it retains its waving trickable properties the final two switchbacks before the bridge has been remodeled to raise up slightly 
akin to the final turn of GBA's Sunset Wild. The updated music now features the middle verse backed by the flute while Jungle Ambitious starts playing in the background of the last verse before the loop. So you see it looks similar to Marker Tour or Double Dash, of course there's barrels added. Um, barrels added and of course graphic wise, of course updated from the GameCube to the Switch, big graphics. Um, it is now a lot easier to avoid obstacles than Marker Double Dash as I, I know because Marker Double Dash it was really hard to avoid these. And of course we still have the rickety, the rickety bridge and we have some Yoshis cheering you on. Now we're halfway done, guys. We're halfway done. I think it's time to go over to the third one, which is a, a Wii one. Mark our Wii's Daisy Circuit. This one, I I did play this one. So I'm going to have some, some things related to this because I married this one. They played one recently. Watch Mark Mario Wii videos, come on guys! Daisy Circuit is the first course of the Star Cup in Mario Kart Wii. It is a dramatic road that drives through a seaside resort. The course travels across a seaside town with a sunset background with it on its shore, with the hills resembling those of the Munda Kingdom from Super Mario Land. The course follows Daisy's appearance with various flowers and mock tits found throughout the level. There is also a docking area with the lighthouse and cruise ships, including Daisy Cruiser from Mario Kart Double Dash. Small bankrupt style buildings can be seen from the background in the figure 8 portion of the track. There are, are two circular fountains. On top of the first fountain is a large golden statue of Daisy and Luigi dancing. The other statue shows Baby Luigi swinging Baby Daisy. Now I guess now let's go over Mark A Deluxe's update. This one. These are returned to Margaret Deluxe as part of the sixth and final wave of the booster course pass DLC. It appears as the third course of the Acorn Co. The course is based off his appearance from Mario Kart Tour again, with graphical achie achievements. A hang gliding ramp has been added to a short, the shortcut of the stairs at the start of the runaway. The st stairs themselves are off-road again, despite the Prana Plant cutout added in, in tour being retained. A trick ramp has been added at the tunnel. Dash panels have been added to the turn around the lighthouse. Similar to the Wii's Coconut Mall, the paved road has become orange, and the classic road returns to its original gray color. While the track is still set at sunset, the sky is no longer exclusively orange. There is now an extra flute in the intro of the course's music. The minimap has been rotated 90 degrees clockwise, and the staircase shortcut is now depicted on the map of the course. Vehicle headlights do not turn on when the tunnel in the, tu in the tunnel section. So yeah. This is similar to Mario Kart Tour, or I guess Mario Kart Wii, but of course, once again with graphical achievements, because now because the Switch has graphic stuff, there's now Toad and Koopa's Dream on the, on the side, um, um, more detail like palm trees, some signs, but not, but guess what guys, we have one more left of this course, or this track I should say, and honestly it's a brand new course. Piranha Plant Cove, a brand new course. Now, or maybe it's a brand new course. I don't know, I didn't say it. <laughs> um, but this is the final one. Alright guys, so, uh, it's actually going to be a new one. Piranha Plant Cove is a race course from Mark Tour. It debuted in the 2023 Exploration Tour as its featured course. It is set on an ultra playo containing underwater ruins with a Piranha Plant moth tiff, along with the course are various hieroglyphics speaking 8 bit piranha plant sprites from Super Mario Bros. and various engraving of falling pillars are seen glowing bright turquoise. Thwomps, Ma Rays, Clampies, Cheat Cheeps, Jelly Beans, and Blubbers are featured as course, as course and background elements. The underwater ruins of this course bear similar to the temple of the feathered serpent of Tadahaken, yes, I know, while also seemingly being based on Atlantis. The music for this quarter is in a 6-4 time signature. Now, it's updating Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. 
here it is. Um, honestly, not much to say, but... Brown and Fanco returns and Margaret Deluxe as part of the sixth and final wave of the Booster Course Pass DLC where it appears as the fourth and final course of the Acorn Cup. Like the, like with the city courses from Marker Tour, the iteration of the course combines the three different routes from Tour together in one course. The course has been significantly visual upgrade compared to its original appearance. So of course, what's different from this one is uh, the dash panels that are, that are near the forms have been smaller. Um, Resembling uh, um, their appearance in a pre, in a pre screenshot of the course that Mark created Deluxe's tour. Um, a clampy has been added to the shipwreck section. Um, um, actually one of, this is actually one of these six courses to have an opening animation during the countdown. And there's been other ones like Twisted Mansion, Mount Wario, Electric Dome, Bowser's Castle, and Excitebike Arena that have that. Um, uh, and just like Ninja Hideaway and Mary Mountain, this course lacks a tour prefix, which they missed the word tour. So I thought it was actually a new course. Um, uh, Prowling Code is a, one of the three marker, court, marker tour courses to present in the sixth wave alongside Rome, Tours Rome Avity and Tours Mid Drift Drive. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for new. And is this track course good or bad?